Hi, still looking at more quote logarithm rules. And this time we're going to be looking at the quotient rule. Or basically what happens when you have dividing. So once again, if we add log to some general base, this time I'm going to write b, some general base. And if we had, say, something like x over y. So something we could split into a form x over y. This is the same as saying log, remember the base still stays the same, of x minus log, same base, y. So we can split that into this. This is the quotient rule. Well, often you're going to actually be going this direction. That's the thing. You're often trying to combine two things to make your life a little easier. Especially, again, if you don't have a calculator, that will do the logarithm to some random base for you. So, let's take a look at an example. Let's say you had something like, mm, let's go log to the 3. You have log to the base 3, and maybe you have 81. And then you have minus log to the base 3 of, let's go, 9. And maybe you even have another minus. Log to the base 3 of 3. We can apply this quotient rule twice. We can go rewrite this as log to the base 3 of 81 divided by 9. And then we still have this minus logarithm 3 over 3. Later on you might feel comfortable combining it all in one step, but what we're going to get is log to the base 3 of 9 minus log to the base 3 of 3. Again, yeah, all we did was 81 divided by 9 using our quotient rule. Now we can still keep expanding this and simplifying it further. This same thing again, we're applying a quotient rule twice. This is 9 over 3, which I'm just going to start writing equal signs and writing it on this last line. This is log to the base 3 of 3. It's quite a squeaky marker, which again, log 3 to the power of what equals 3? 1. So this is a nice example of how this can be used to simplify things. You wouldn't often go the other way, but you might 